Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Professor Williams, and this is what I'm going to refer to as Mini Tab Lesson 1. Just want to get you um, familiar with what happens once you click on the Mini Tab icon on your desktop. It's going to open up two things it's going to open up a session window and a it's going to open a session window and a worksheet. The session window is where you're always going to end up with your output. So whatever um, function you're using Minitab for, the results are going to be going to appear up here somewhere. The worksheet is just that. It's the place where you're going to enter your data. What I want to do is just give you a few simple hints about this. What you'll notice is with Minitab, is these first two cells are um, grayed out. It's because those first, and you'll also notice that they have no row number. It's because these first two cells are reserved in every column for data labels. So the only thing that you're ever going to want to put up here are data labels. This first column just happens to be the number of errors that were made by Major League Baseball teams. I could do RBIs. I could do um, home runs. But the one thing that you always want to do is make sure that these cells right here, these two rows, are only used for um, data labels. You can change your entry direction, but just leave it like this for now. What you end up doing is you end up simply entering all of your data in a column. So if I was still entering data, I want to come down, I want to enter my data, I'm just entering numbers. Now, what you'll notice right here is there's an asterisk. What does that little asterisk mean? It means there's a missing data value. So Minitab is smart enough to know that if I'm entering data values in this column, that if I skip one, one is missing. The other thing that I want to do is I want to enter all of my data in one column per variable because Minitab considers this to be a variable, this can, to be a variable, this to be a variable. doesn't mean that you need to do multiple worksheets. It just means that when you're entering your information, always enter it down in a column. This worksheet operates exactly like Excel. So that's your worksheet and your session window. So what do we have up here in the toolbar? Well, you have a toolbar that looks a lot like your Microsoft Word or Excel toolbar, don't you? What you'll notice is that you have File. This is where you're going to start a new um, work session in mini tab, open something that you already have worked on, save it, or if you want to print that session window, set up your printer or exit, you're going to do it under file, just like in Word. Where you're going to be working mostly this semester is in Calc, which is where we're going to do probability distributions, Stat, where we're going to be doing our, whoops, our basic statistics, and graph where we're going to create all of our um, graphs and charts for um, the class. What you have over here is you have help, which is great. Um, there's some tutorials. There's a stat guide. So if you need help, this is a good place to go. Of course, you can always ask me. The other thing that you'll notice is that this toolbar here looks pretty much like the toolbar does in Word and Excel. Open a file save, print your window, it's going to be your cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, so very much as you normally would have done it before. There's your help, find, and then previous and next command. So it's very much like Excel or Word in terms of how your menus operate. So um, don't be afraid of it. Give it a try. You can always just say file and then 
click on file and then say exit and you'll be fine and you can start over again so um, hopefully this helps and I will see you guys back in a little bit with some information on how to create your first set of graphs using Minitab.